today on Be Something Wonderful. Get triggered and get what you want and desire anyway. I am your host, Tom Karen, and this is the Be Something Wonderful studio of higher consciousness, where we help you level up and become the best version of yourself. Creators, good morning and welcome back to the studios of Be Something Wonderful. Big video for you this morning. The question came up, Tom, I've been getting triggered. I'm reacting to circumstances. No matter how far I believe I've come on my spiritual path and journey, I'm still getting triggered. I'm still reacting to circumstances. I'm still in the middle of circumstances that appear negative or not what I want or contrary. Well, I want to talk about this today and more. Remember this, that it doesn't matter whether you get triggered. It doesn't matter whether you react to the circumstances. The circumstances and your reactions and your triggers mean nothing. They don't matter. Who you're being, who you know yourself to be, is all that matters. Remember, you create this experience that you're on a journey or that you're on a path. There's no journey or path to who you really are. You already are that. Do you see it? And when you create that idea that there's a, a journey or a path to get to, then you create this experience of, of reacting to the triggers and believing because you're reacting to those triggers that you can't have or get everything you want. You can have it and get it anyway because you are it anyway. There's no journey or path or spiritual path to enlightenment. You already are that enlightened being. I want to talk about this idea today and more. Get triggered. Notice the circumstances. Think and feel it and then manifest and create everything you want and desire anyway. This is now happening. I'm hearing this from a few of you that this is what's happening with you now. You're just manifesting it anyway. You know that circumstances are circumstances, conditions are conditions, that you might think and feel something, that you may even be triggered. But your assumption, that greater assumption of who you are, that identity of already being that person you desire to be, has dominion over all of that. Do you see it? Be aware and conscious of all of it and create your dream life anyway. Remember, wish fulfilled is not a feeling or, a, or an emotion. I really want to talk about this. Neville Goddard talks about the feeling of wish fulfilled or the feeling of fulfillment, but really it's not a feeling or an emotion. It's a state of being. It's who you really are. It's your true nature. Happiness, fulfillment, love, peace, gratitude, and joy is your nature as I am awareness. It's not a path to get to. It's, it's not something that you, that you journey to. I am the way. That, <laughs> that's why when um, uh, Moses uh, answered God, when God was saying, Moses, Moses, here I am, Moses answered. Do you see it? There's no journey to who you are. There's no efforting to be who you really are. There, there, there's no path to that. You are the path. You are the way. You are fulfillment. Neville Goddard talks about when I speak of feeling, I do not mean emotion, but the acceptance of the fact that you already are that which you desire to be. That's powerful. That's a powerful definition of wish fulfilled. It's an absolute conviction. You're not journeying to it. There's no path to it. You're already there. You're not trying to find it or journey to it or maintain it or get it. You are it. That's why you can, you can get triggered. You can notice the circumstances. You can think and feel whatever you're thinking or feeling and manifest and create what you want and desire anyway because you're already there. This is powerful. There's no spiritual path, there's no journey or way to fulfillment or to wish fulfilled or to God or to source or all that is. I am the way. Here I am. Right? Moses say, answering God. Jesus saying, I am the way. I am the life. I am the light. 
in, in the Gospel of John, there's, an, there's one I am statement after another, right? Saying, I am the resurrection. I am the life. I am the way. I am the vine, right? I am that. Your awareness of being is the experiencing of fulfillment. The awareness itself, right? You can't be more than who you are right now, right here and right now, that I am awareness. There's no journey or path or process to where and who you are right here and right now, right? You can only create or manifest the experience of being on a path or a journey away from who you are. Do you see it? You're not, you believe you're, you're journeying to who you really are, to some spiritual moment where you recognize that everything that you are that person you desire to be. You're not journeying to it. So whenever you're creating a journey or a path, it's a path or a journey away from who you really are. Not towards who you really are, because you already are that. You can only journey or create a path or an experience away from all that you are. You're already that. That's powerful. I am the alpha and the omega, the first and last, the beginning and the end. That's the revelation of revelations in Revelation. Right? That the, I am the Alpha and Omega. I am the beginning and the end, the first and last. Right? I am all of it. There's no journey to it. You're already there. You can only create a journey or a path away from it. Do you see this today? So, so get triggered. Notice the circumstances. Think and feel whatever you think and feel. But you're greater than all of it, all of it because you already are that enlightened perfect awareness within which all of that's taking place. <laughs> so let's continue. There's nothing you have to do, imagine, affirm, or assume to be who you already are. Do you see, all the imagining and affirming and assuming is a way for you to experience different parts or vantage points or perspectives of who you really are. They're not to create it or manifest it because you lack it or you don't have it. I hope this is really clear. I've talked about this in many different ways. But, to, but so there's nothing you have to do to affirm, imagine, assume who you really are. You're creating a, what you're creating is a different vantage point, a different perspective, a different viewpoint of all that you are. I am that I am. That's what that means. There's no path or way. I am the way, I am the door, I am the vine, I am the truth, the life, the resurrection. All manifesting and creating re your own reality is an experience of limiting the great I am awareness that you really are. All of it is an experience of limitation. All of that experience of imagining or assuming, affirming something, no matter what you're imagining, affirming, or assuming, is, is you focusing on one specific identity or version or, or perspective or vantage point of who you really are, of all that you are. But you never lose any one identity. You never lose any one I, I, reality. You are all of those identities or versions or realities. Superimpose one over another deciding, creating, manifesting a, a certain viewpoint, looking through a certain focus. And then we judge it as not complete or not right or being triggered by that. There's no reason to because you're all of those realities. Right? So there's no path or way. You are the way. All manifesting, all creating your own reality is the experience of limiting the great I am awareness that you are. We're masters of limitation, but not to be seen as something negative or lacking, but because we're absolutely limitless. We create that experience of unworthiness because we could only do that if we're absolutely and totally worthy. We create that experience of non-fulfillment, but that's only possible if you're absolutely fulfilled because there's no such thing as non-fulfillment or unworthiness. That's a creation, that's a viewpoint. So instead of looking at it as being unworthy or non-fulfilled, look at it as part of that fulfillment that you are, 
look at that experience as part of that auto worthiness that you really are, right? It is, it, it is to know yourself experientially from yet another viewpoint, another vantage point and perspective, another infinite viewpoint, vantage point and perspective that creates and manifests the experience of learning, growing, evolving, and becoming more. So you're not here to learn, but you're here to create the experience of, of knowing yourself as that absolute source. That creates an experience of learning or growing or evolving or being more. You can't be more than who you are right now. You couldn't, couldn't evolve any more than this fully evolved being that you are. You couldn't grow more than this fully grown uh, all that isness that you are. You can't learn possibly more. You know it all. You are the knowing itself. You're the awareness itself. So how do we know that though? How do you know you're all that is if you're all that is, if you're a supreme being? Where you create the experience, you know yourself experientially in a physically focused reality of all that you are. I've talked about that in many different ways, but for those that, that haven't heard the message yet, welcome to be something wonderful. <laughs> a trigger or negative thought, feeling, or sensation, hear this, is a message from your higher self that's not separate from the conscious uh, lower mind personality that you're focused on right now. They're both the same, who you really are. You're all of it. There's no separation between the conscious and subconscious, between the ego and the higher self, between the conscious mind and the unconscious mind. It's all one. So, so a trigger or a negative thought, a feeling or a sensation is a message from you to you that, that what you're assuming, thinking and believing right now is not the truth of reality. It's not, the, it's not real or reality or who you really are. It's not who you really are. It's not your preferred or desired experience or identity or reality right now. It no longer serves you. It's no longer your preference, right? It's not natural. It's not your nature. That's what that means. Otherwise, it would feel good. It would feel like bliss and love and joy, your true nature, right? And it's also telling you that it has no power or authority over you at all. Hear this. That's what that negative trigger or thought or feeling is telling you. Remember, you're only ever feeling what you're thinking or assuming. That's what a trigger is. And, and you're only ever feeling source energy because there's only one energy, that pure love, that pure awareness. So what's going on? It must be a message. From who? From you. It's all about you. That, 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 that trigger, that circumstance, that condition that appears outside of you has no authority unless, it's, unless it were given from above. From you. And what's above? You. I am that I am. I am who I am. I am God and there is no other. Be still and know that. Right? Know that truth. So... I get it. I get it. You're tired. You're triggered. You're frustrated. You're just exhausted with manifesting and creating your own reality. But cast the net one more time. Focus. Move to that knowing that it's all working out. Move to that knowing that those conditions and circumstances are changing to everything that you want because you say so. Right, the movie that one of you that I talked with the, over the last few days mentioned the scene from The Chosen, from one of the first, I think it was the first season, the miracle of the fish, the big catch between Jesus and, and Simon Pe and Peter, Simon, <laughs> before he was Peter, right? You're Jesus, your I am awareness. And Jesus says to them, they were out all day, all night, nothing, not catching anything. Jesus says, put down... Put that down for a catch. In other words, put the net down for a catch. Put it out a little farther. A little farther out. Right? Just cast that net one more time a little farther. Identify with 
your true ideal with what you want and desire one more time. One more time, cast that net. What does that mean? It doesn't mean just one more time. It means continually. It's the continual forgiveness of sin. And what is the metaphysical definition of sin? Not identifying with your ideal. You're continually forgiven from not identifying with your ideal because you can identify again and again and again. And what does Peter say to Jesus, your I am awareness? But we've been doing that all night and nothing. I'm tired. I'm triggered, Tom. I'm frustrated. I'm exhausted with all of this. Just put it down for the catch. Go one more time, right? Just one more time, cast your net. In other words, continually identify with, with and as your ideal. Identify in reality, no matter what, no matter how many times you're triggered, no matter, no matter what your thoughts and feelings are, no, no matter what those circumstances are going on, no matter what's happening, no matter how many triggers, Cast your net one more time. And of course, Simon cast the net one more time and there's an abundance, uh, an astonishing abundance of fish in that net in this scene from The Chosen. Right? And then Simon falls to his knees in front of that I am awareness. Depart from me. I'm a sinful man. You don't know who I am in the things I've done. That's how we feel, right? Even when we manifest some things, we're still feeling that underlying unworthiness, that, unlo- that underlying uh, a sense that we're sinners, that we're not identifying with our ideals, that we're still triggered, right? That we still get triggered, that we still judge the circumstances, that we still have these negative thoughts about the people, events, and circumstances in our life and we feel guilty about it, we feel like a sinner, we feel like something's wrong. There's nothing wrong, right? It's, it's okay, cast your net one more time, right? Raise your head, as Jesus said to raise your head. You are, you are continually forgiven as you identify with your ideal. You could not be triggered. You could not create that sensation of a trigger. You could not create that sensation of non-fulfillment. You could not create that sensation of unworthiness unless you were absolutely, completely worthy. You could not know who you are not unless you were that all that isness. You could not know that other that utter worthiness, that other utter fulfillment. And right, and let, you could not know it unless you have the experience of not being it, not feeling it not feeling that fulfilled or feeling unfulfilled or not fulfilled. That's powerful. So, Jesus, I am am awareness. Don't be afraid, Simon, as Simon says that. Depart from me, right? Simon says, we've waited for you for so long. We believed but my faith. Do you see it? So so we're saying, yeah, I've, I've been waiting. I've been waiting and wanting and whining and complaining that nothing's happening for so long. But as you cast your net one more time, as you persist in that identity because it's your preferred identity, as you persist in that reality because it's your preferred reality, no matter how many times you're triggered, no matter what the thoughts and feelings are, no matter how negative things look and feel, you persist. And then, and then you question it again, but my faith, stop waiting, stop complaining, stop judging and cast out your net a little farther, a little further and farther, right? One more time, continually forgiving yourself for not identifying with your ideal because you're forgiven. The abundance of fulfillment is waiting for you. Right? At the other end of that net is astonishing. That abundance, that fulfillment, that dream life that's waiting for you. Stop waiting for it. It's waiting for you. It's waiting for you to declare it, despite the triggers, to stand in your knowing, despite the circumstances, to know who you really are, despite all of it. So get triggered. React to the circumstances. Notice the negative 
thoughts and feelings and cast your net out one more time. A little farther, a little further. Imagine, affirm, and assume your wish fulfilled anyway. Get triggered and get what you want and desire anyway. I am your host, Tom Karen, and this is the Be Something Wonderful studio of higher consciousness, where we help you level up and become the best version of yourself. Creators, thank you. Thank you for being with me. Thank you for liking and sharing and commenting on the videos. Thank you for being part of our Facebook group, the Be Something Wonderful Ambassadors, at facebook.com slash groups slash Be Something Wonderful, for joining us on Instagram and Twitter at Tom Karen, our TikTok at Be Something Wonderful, and being, or for being part of our membership channel. We have a live stream, <clears throat> our seventh live stream this year of 2024 at the end of this month. I'm already losing my voice. July um, 28th, 2024 at 9 a.m. Pacific time here in the USA. We're going to be coming to you live in the morning, 9 a.m. in the morning, live answering your questions and topics that you want to discuss on the Be Something Wonderful membership channel. It's our 16th live stream overall, our seventh live stream of this year, and it's gonna be live and fun. I'm gonna also answer your questions right on the chat during the live stream. It's a chance for us to be, quote, face to face <laughs> and have a great conversation. So join us. If you're not a member, um, check out the link below. If you're a member, join us. Creators with great love, with great light and infinite gratitude. This is Tom Karen here in the studios of Be Something Wonderful. Until next time, we'll see you soon.